What's up, YouTubers? What's going on? It's your buddy Rob Banks in a Red Cup review and Baz, and we got a uh, some random guy that wanted to join us tonight. So I said, "Fuck it, why not just come on and and, and hang out with us for the night?" Uh, I, apparently, his name's Donnie. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know how <laughs> I got here. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on? Thank Listen, you for having me. Yeah, What's no, the, always, man. You're, you're a great friend of the channel, Donnie. For you guys knowing in the uh, in the chat, you guys all recognize, you know, Donnie and shit. He's always plugging away. What's your YouTube handle? Uh, Donnie Daz. I don't post anything. It's just my well, comment. You comment in the chat. In, in the chat, right? So we'll say Donnie yeah. Daz, right? So the guys that are sitting around watching us. What's up, Baz? What's up, man? How you doing? Um, yeah, just chilling. Just you know, doing. Yeah. Where, where? Red cupping and and working and playing guitar and all that other good shit. Cool. Uh, released a couple of videos this week. I got this here. Talk about you want to start start off with pickups of the week. I got this fucking thing. Your, didn't you get an acoustic? Well, no, that comes in next week. I got this thing. Yeah, I just finished watching your vid, bud. Nice, yay, Mando. When are you gonna sell it? Probably tomorrow. <laughs> 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 it's the it's the fucking thing on the side of his head that's giving me issues and stuff, but he's pretty cool. And he comes with the baby. Oh, he's so cute. Can you baby twist yogurt? Him? You know, and the little yeah. Mando charm. Fuck him. He's awesome. Baby Yoda's fucking awesome. You're ret you're ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna tie baby Yoda now. Wait, is he is he sculpted his his plastic uh, like the cloth or is it cloth? Yeah, no, it's sculpted. It, it looks like cloth. It's pretty freaking close. But yeah, oh. no, that's all sculpted 100, percent even on here. Right. He was he was cool when he was eating those frog eggs and pissing yeah. off those people. There's no articulation in the arms; the head moves around. But articulation in the arms, and so you could really, you know, one thing that they did miss out on, I said in the video, he should have came with a little ball that he keeps giving him for him to fuck, with, and he could have like rotated his hand up so he could have, like maybe grip like the little fucking joystick control thing. But other than that, he comes with everything you'll never use in a hot toy, but it's still pretty awesome. You know? So go check out that review and stuff. You uh, if you haven't kit. already. There's what? an upgrade kit, like, uh, where you can get, like, real metal, like, even shinier uh, Beskar armor. Really? Yeah. Someone's making actual upgradable shiny Beskar stuff? Yeah. Uh, is is it uh, magnetic? Can you take off his armor? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, not magnetic. It's... um. Velcro, right? Yeah, so you it's meant to take off, and yeah, you get replacement pieces with like better looking Beskar armor, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. That piece, See? it's like Velcro and shit on the inside, so it's yeah, pretty shiny, cool. though. The uh, the the friggin' what you call it is pretty shiny, pretty nice. It's still cap, you know, it's like it's classic, it's light and shit, but it still captures the uh, the light and you know, look metal y, metal ish. You know, whatever it is, what it is. Um, anyways, Craig Brooks. Hey, I don't know who that guy is, but he's new. What's up, dude? How's it going? Uh, CM Brock, what's up, buddy? Thanks for leaving that comment. Very much appreciate it. Briscoe, what's going on, man? How are you? And Rome Ross, nice. We got a whole a whole crew of guys in here and floating baby Yoda. Baz, you got any pickups this week? Yeah. yeah okay. oh, oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to put you on solo mode. Damn, bro. Where'd you find that? No, it's Amazon. Oh, it was available, huh? Ah, fucking Alexa fucking woke up. Alexa! Amazon! <laughs> Lay a fart loud. We have Big Fart enabled. You want to open it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have Big Fart enabled. Welcome to Big Fart. Would you like it to come? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> you what you did just the goddamn toy oh yeah amazon raise your volume to 10 hey good amazon. to see you a couple of what's, what's up guys and Rob? what's up danny good to see you back too man we'll yeah he's pretty cool like he's got like that's this, a nice uh, like, set bass he's got like a, a like, like uh, two heads. You got the the Viking helmet. I don't know where he gets it from. Like in the comments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you got a machete. You got a fucking bat. You know, fucking. Yo, could you shut her up? <laughs> <laughs> Amazon. Yo, a big long fart. Throw that thing out the fucking window. Yeah, word. 
<laughs> Did you like a ketchup part? Oh my god, is this live with Alexa for crying out loud? <laughs> Yo, Lay you gotta you... Oh my god, shut up with that already. <laughs> Did you have uh old man Logan still? Amazon, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you said okie dokie. So, um <laughs> you have a uh, fucking boomer. Do you yeah. still have uh, uh, the the Mezco Wolverine? Uh, no, sold out. Sold old man Logan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't say nothing. It's just a quiet stream. <laughs> dun, okay. dun, dun, right, cool. dun, dun, dun. Um, hold on. So so you're... there's a big fart uh, program with. Uh, I'm not gonna say Alexa. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about, Big Fart? That's Alexa. You don't have an Alexa in your house? You don't have, like, a spy device all set up so I can... Fuck no. I, I already got one. My cell phone, man. Oh, it's just... Yeah, no. I really want the FBI to listen to and um, get the I get off on it. <laughs> so, I was going to say that that bike probably looks really like the old Logan or a, a Captain America or some shit. Like, what yeah. Mexico do you even have anymore? Did you sell off all your shit? What are you talking about? Your Mezco figures. No, they're just the Marvel ones. I have all DC and Mezco now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that a problem? Well, whatever. No, I don't give a fuck what you do. I'm just saying it might look cool with the with the motorcycle. All right, check it out. Red Cup. You going to buy any of the upgrades for the Deluxe Mando? People, People are, are doing, doing the die oh, That's what, what, he's probably what I was talking about. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm not. I'm not buying any upgrades for him. Uh, the, the the shit looks fine. I'm actually of a mind right now to actually sell it, and I know you guys are gonna fucking hang me for this, but um, my my son does not want me want me getting rid of it at all. Even Laura was like, "Keep it. It's really nice looking." So I might hold on to it for a little while. Um, I'm not, I don't need the spear because I'm happy with the spear. I don't need the uh the thigh armor plate. Because the thigh armor plate looks fine, like the way it is. Like I'm just gonna buy it for the one plate, you know. Um, the dark saber, I'll never have him holding that. So I think he looks fine just the way he is. I want him with like the pistol, maybe, and the the, the rifle out, or maybe the the fucking whistling birds and the pistol. Like I'm just cool with with the way it is. I don't do a lot of swap outs. It's like he, like he can't comes with all this stuff. He even came with like the flame effect, which is nice. But I, like I explained in the um the review, the like. You can't even get his arm up high enough to hold the flame out. It's like he's almost like aiming it like down, like as if someone was on the ground and he's burning them. So it's like I, half these these accessories I'm never going to use. It's nice that he comes with them, like the little tracking device I'll never use. You know, um, this is cool. The ice cream maker. I may have this like next to him just because I think this is like the coolest thing ever because of Will Rowe Hood. But other than that, it's like I'm never going to turn the light on. And I'm not even trying to be a Debbie Downer. This is cool. It's like, I may have him holding this, walking with Baby Yoda or something, but I don't need all this other stuff to like. There, I have too much. Look, it's I have too much nice shit going on. So if I want to change something out, I got to remove the fucking plate, the, the the acrylic, and then like take the figures out, remess with it, re put it back in. It becomes too much of a pain in the ass. But um, if you oh, have an the fuck uh, up already. Me or Amazon or Alexa? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You're going on and on and on about this shit. Well, you fucking asked the question. Anyone yeah. Oh my god. the longest answer I've ever heard. What do you want to talk about, best? <laughs> I feel like yeah. I'm a, like a mediator or something. Just listen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Donnie? Oh, it's just a three inch uh, little boba or Mando. Mando? Nice. That's three, three, oh, look, and he's holding the ice cream maker. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you see something like that. Yeah. Nice. yeah. You know, I got the Razor Crest coming in when that gets in. I uh, I ordered that. Is it oh, coming nice. by delivery? Pardon? Is it coming by delivery? Yeah. So, like, uh, everything you pay for, <laughs> like, you, you type in, no matter what your address is, it's the fee. Like, the fee goes with uh, shipping. So nice. Grant, I don't have to pay any extra customs duty when it's shipped to my house. It's all oh, it's man. all in the bill. But the only thing that sucks is the conversion. Oh yeah, the conversion. Are you rate. allowed to leave the house, bro? Is Canada just like on lockdown? Uh, not really. Like no. we're we can we can go out. 
like uh, our our province tried to do like uh, a police kind of state enforcement, and yeah. it lasted like two days. Like, everybody so there's just not a went. mountie on a horse outside your house, like waiting for you to. Well, to like, to, to uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> like you got your cops, you got your state troopers, like, um, and then RCMP is kind of like, I don't know, all over police. I don't know, maybe your FBI version. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, Craig Brooks, uh, day. Right, right. Friggin' love Mezco. I have 125 and counting. I didn't even know there were that many. What do you guys think of the new Mezco Wolverine and the future releases? Thanks. Uh, we went over the Mezco Wolverine, I believe, last week or so. Last week or the week before. I love it. I got two of them coming. Baz, I think you ordered it too, right? Yeah, I only got one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got two just, you know, for, for like trade bait, you know, like in case yeah. like something else comes out that I miss and I need to like trade it away for something. Donnie, what about you? Um, oh. I was talking about uh, this with Baz like the other week on his channel. Um, I have the uh, NYC uh, 2017 exclusive mm -hmm. Wolverine. Um, I bought that probably a year ago on eBay. I spent like 350 Oh, uh, my God. Right. So uh, I really wanted it because I love Jim League. Well, it's Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Awesome. So if you want something really bad, you'll get it. So I got it. Um, I love it. When I see this, it doesn't upset me at all. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad for other fans. You know, I'm not going to be one of those freaking assholes. Oh, mine's tarnished. No, I'm still going to keep mine. And then uh, I can do a head swap, put uh, put a Jim Lee head on my NYC one, and then um, have the, uh, like, the Hulk 181 version going. Yeah, where that's cool. Smart move. It's yeah. pretty dope. The um, speaking of yeah, and releases, fucking Mezco brings out a Hulk. Like, let's go. Oh yeah, no, I know. I was actually thinking about picking up the um, the Hulk from. Uh, he's probably gonna be way too big though. The Immortal Hulk figure that we were talking about last week, that uh, Diamond Select, like you know, nineteen eighty five Secret Wars Rage Out Hulk uh, figure that Diamond's doing or did or whatever. I was thinking about doing that and maybe like to hide the joints and the arms, taking like a piece of like white cloth and cutting it out like sleeves for his arms and have it look tarnished and tattered as if he like kind of like ripped into it and maybe uh like try to hide some of like the shoulder articulation and shit to make it look a little bit more mezco ish you know for the Dude, time being i was thinking um with that popeye bluto figure that's a perfect hulk body what just friggin take all his mm -hmm. shit off paint him green and then you got a hulk figure yeah pretty much Some people think they're gonna make a Mosquatch figure that's a character for from the hazard squad from uh you know the uh yeah well, i'm gonna bring that stuff up now too yeah, yeah. Well, well all right look before we get to we'll, we'll i guess we'll backtrack because this is just happens to be up on the page right now this dropped today here's something that fucking pisses me off about mezco uh we're not gonna announce anything and then here's a release at two o'clock guys good luck trying to get it it's like we're trying to manufacture hype on things and it just pisses me off but um I know Ultraman came out today. He looks cool. I'm not really a big Ultraman fan, but I'm glad that he they're making figures like this because if they're going to make this, they're going to make more obscure shit that I'm into. Uh, so I never hate on something obscure like like a Rocketeer, let's say, you know, something like that. Um, so he looks cool. He's got light up stuff, you know, that looks like Ultraman and he comes like a little plane, right? So that's cool. It's like the Ultraman plane or some shit. So, he, you know, he's not bigger than any of the other Mezco figures. And he doesn't come with the giant Godzilla looking creature. But um he's got like a bunch of attachments and light up stuff and power rays and stuff. I should probably pick this up just for the uh, ready player one display that I'm doing. It's like this character plays a big part in the ready player one novel. And he's got a cape, right? A little plane. And here's something that's pretty cool. Little breakaway buildings. So that's kind of cool. That's right? a nice touch. You have that's them like stomping point. the buildings like so this, is what cool. they, this is what uh, those Godzilla Mezco figures should be coming with. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's a character oh, like a little like new, new, uh, uh, what you call it. Um, yeah, a little diorama for those Mezco Godzilla figs that are coming out. You ever hear of Jet Jaguar? Uh, no. no. That's actually, uh, he, uh, there was a movie that uh, I think he fought Godzilla in. Very similar character to, uh, to this, to Ultraman. Yeah, so 
Um, well, I think I know maybe you have to buy Cooney Ultraman in order yeah. to make a mini city to have all the characters stomping through. You know, I wonder if the five point articulation monsters will actually be comparable to the six inch of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the five points, I don't know how tall they are, but if they were compatible with this figure, then you can have like Ultraman fighting Godzilla with like the little city and shit around them. That would be kind of cool, I guess. They said that they're about 4.5 inches. Those nah, it's, forget it then. It's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> you know. All right. Well, whatever. It's, it's swing and a miss. Uh, let's see. But yeah, all right. It's cool. I'm not crazy about it. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but uh, I'm glad they make shit like this and less. No more of that and less roaches, in, in my opinion. I, I can't stand the fucking roaches. Speaking you think of the price, 105 for them. Ah, I don't know, man. With all the light, it comes with two light up heads, and and the, I don't know. I, I think it's still kind of high, man. I, depending, I don't, I can't see the Ultraman's licensing fee being super high. I could be wrong, but like, he doesn't really come with that much, and they're really starting to push this hundred dollar price point shit a little bit too much, for my opinion. They this sweet spot for Mezco is like between like 80 and 95 dollars depending on how many accessories they come with and 10 heads and like the wolverine's a little bit more expensive because he comes with like every fucking thing you can imagine which is fine but if they're not going to come with that much stuff they really need to stay below 100 bucks i think maybe with the 105 it's just because of the light up feature you take away the chest and the eyes you probably got an 85 dollar ultraman there you go exactly you know even the gi joe is 100 bucks I mean, that's like, I don't know, man. You guys are really, really pushing it. Look, right here. Perfect. Mobius, 85, right? Batman was 95, but he came with everything you can imagine. Constantine at 100 is a little high. This is at 100. This is They're trying to test the waters with like these, like 95 for Dr. Fate. This like $100, $105, $110 price point bullshit. It's getting a little tiring seeing that over and over again, man. You know, it kind of bothers me. What are your thoughts on the last year, though? What are your thoughts on that three pack of Justice League? Uh, bad. That's all Baz. Baz, you take this one. I, I just want black suit Superman. Why the fuck do I need to have two other figures that are rehashes? Just sell them, dude. Just friggin' sell them on eBay. Right. And or sell them on Facebook. This, and this is the other mother box we've finally been waiting for. Yeah. And it's in a three pack. But go ahead, Baz. What are your thoughts? What on the three pack? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I already pre-ordered. I'm, I'm oh. getting all those. I'm keeping. Them. I can't, I can't find that Mosque Watch figure or whatever the hell it's called. I can't find it on here. Like I'm, oh no, that's I know why I can't find it because it's not part of this. It's part of this stupid thing, this Emporium of whatever the fucking yeah. uh, heart attack inducing action figure drops because we don't have enough fucking stress in our lives. This is for you, Rob. Uh, Dark Conan. Yeah, what's the deal with the roaches? Not a fan. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, and there's a lot of people. You know, I'm seeing people sell off their entire collections just to get the fucking roaches. Like, you're going to have a collection of roaches, and you're going to sell your Daredevils and Deathstrokes and Batman and shit, and you're going to have fucking just all, the same exact figure with different clothes on over and over again. I, I, don't, I don't understand that mentality. Like I said, manufacturing shit like you're just fucking manufacturing uh hype you know yeah. um i do like the one with the bodega though bodega box is pretty cool it, look they're cool I, I had the gomez of death and i did a review on it it was a nice figure they're not yeah. bad they come with a bunch of shit they super articulate i get it this is like they're but you know what it is they push out so much of this it's like because they're putting out so much of this i have like a, a natural like ah like Put your yeah. fucking funds towards something I'm interested in. So there's like, like natural kickback. And also, I feel like watching everybody go so crazy and nuts for these things, I feel like it's like the Harley Quinn hype all over again. Or what were we just talking about is the new Harley Quinn, the fucking Ahsoka. It's like the Ahsoka Harley Quinn hype. Like it's just the new thing, you know? And I'm more of a classics guy and I like classic shit. So. At, uh, you know, that's my, hey, you youngins, get off my, you know, get off my lawn. Um, and, then, so. and then you got a, you got an army build with their, like, you know, what are the, the skull guys and shit, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. those, you know what, though? The skull guys could be kind of cool if you bought them to be, like, goons. Yeah. For, like, uh, you know, I don't know, like, Joker goons or something. 
you know, but they all have the same skull head. I I, I don't know what the fuck you would do with them. Yeah, but uh, what are they like? Uh, how much do they cost? What two hundred a pop? For the three, <laughs> yeah. Now they're going for like eight eight hundred for the set. <laughs> how you get an army build? Fucking uh, those figures cost that much. Jesus Christ. CM Brock. Well, CM Brock is like is is heavily into Mexico. He does. It happens with all the companies. They pack in a want to get a figure with figure figures that people can't live without. Yeah, no. Then they just have like this. Oh my God, I have to have to have it. You know. And I don't like that either. I don't like the idea that a company is making things like so fucking hard to get that they're like people are killing each other for these friggin' things. Like they're selling out in seconds. That's another reason why I'm actually I'm leaving. Um, I'm not doing the classified series no more either. I'm I'm done with GI Joe completely. I'm going to I'm probably going to pre-order the Mezco Deathstroke, uh, Destro rather, and just go Mezco with it because it seems like. Not a lot of people are that are into GI Joes are willing to pay the higher price point, so I should be able to get all the figures I want. And the classified series re-released today, like Firefly and uh, uh, like one of the Cobra Vipers, and it sold out in like three minutes. And it was like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with these like hidden drops of figures and rush to get them all and constantly having to log in. I got enough pressure trying to keep up with the fucking Red Pickup page. That I gotta. You know, every day check multiple times a day to one site. You know, it pisses me off when Sideshow does it. Now Mezco's doing it. Hasbro's doing it now. I fucking had it. If I now can't get what I want, I'm done. Then I got these Target exclusives and shit and all that bullshit. I'll say this. I've been collecting like hot toys for about 10 years. Haven't got probably one in about two years. Um, just tired of all the new shit they keep fucking producing. Um, new fresh idea or whatever. Your new Star Wars, your new Captain Falcon Winter Soldier, whatever. Whatever movie just dropped, they're making figures. I liked it when I was collecting. They were doing 80s, 90s, whatever. You got your Aliens, Terminator, Predator, all kinds of shit. But um, And then now, I, so I just paused, and now I'm with Mezco, and uh, I'm waiting for Mezco to make whatever character now and invested my money in them. And I stopped kind of collecting Marvel Legends. I'm just going to wait for Mezco to make them. Right. I, I, I'm stoked for the Fantastic Four. I'd rather have that. I'm glad I waited as opposed to buying that four set of Marvel Legends. Of oh, the for Fantastic the Fantastic Four. four set? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'd rather wait. And it's kind of like you were saying with G.I. Joe just wait and get the best of the best. Yeah. I'd rather just wing it the best. Because it's not even just getting like, like, I have a bunch of classified series now already. And I was, I like them. They're the Marvel Legend GI Joes. How could you not like them, right? But the problem is, is I don't have to have, to have that like choking feeling if I can't get something. Or oh my god, this is a major character. Like, like, like for instance, Major Blood now is going for. I, I saw one go for like ten grand on eBay, and it's like a, a release. Like they're making it a, a like a Target exclusive again. All the bots are snatching them up. There's a few that made it out into the wild right now, and they're going for insane prices. And I'm not going to keep making trips to Target to try to find these figures. If I can't just order this shit online and I can't get a full set of all the characters, I don't even get like, fuck you then. Keep your figures. You waited too long for this shit anyway. You should have released this when me and Baz was screaming about having six-inch G.I. Joes and Star Wars fucking 15 years ago. So, yeah, Mezco's are mini hot toys. Exactly. And he steps on roaches. He don't co uh, collect them. <laughs> I'm glad we got some roach haters in the fucking chat. It's actually me. See? See this shit? <laughs> I'm Captain Fed Up, but you're putting a smile on my face. I like it. I'll give you credit, though. They started with that as their IP, and look where they are now. Oh, yeah. No, that's another thing, though, too, is I don't I don't knock them. I won't knock the I'm going to knock company for doing something I either I don't like. And look, I'm a fan. I figure as fans, we get the ability to kind of beat on our chest and be like, you want this, damn it. I get that, but I do understand the marketing. I do understand what they're doing, and I can't hate on them for doing what you know a company's supposed to do. You know, they kind of have More. a cool story, like toy line. They started like you know making their own character with their comic and then the toy, and then all of a sudden they got the licenses for Marvel, DC, yada yada yada. You know, it's kind of a cool story how they started from nowhere and look where they are now. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I like characters like, like Barrett and Benz, for instance. And Baz was a fan of the uh, pulp Doc Nocturnal style figures. Like figures like that, I'm, I, I like. It's like mm -hmm. a different character. It's a, you know, a pulp character, a character that would look cool with Aquaman. He's got a cool design. It reminded me of Jack Kirby, the uh, the, the celestial looking guy, the um, uh, Baron Benz and shit. So that's like different. It's just something, you know. Uh, aesthetically nice to look at as opposed to let's just take the roach head and pop it on a different body with, with a yeah. different you know, type of add-on or some shit. You know? 
Uh, and, that, and their scale is awesome, man. I'd rather have the the Ghostbusters in, instead of the Blitzway because just when you're a collector, you know that shit takes up space. No, no, I know. I actually went. I, I decided to stick with the Blitzway ones, even though I knew that when I got the Mezco ones in hand, if I sold the Blitzway ones, I probably could have got like fifteen hundred for the set, which would have been really nice. And the right. freaking Ghostbusters set only costs like two fifty at this point. If you even wanted to go back and get it three hundred, two fifty to three hundred around there, and they were all good too. Toy Tom Machine says all this swearing. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're potty mouths here, dude. Um, I didn't even hear one swear. That's how like used to it I am. Yeah, I think exactly. I'm like, so, I think I'm like up to five bucks in like the swear jar on the Toy Time Machine channel. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why this channel doesn't grow because they're like, all right, we got to hide these guys. Yeah. Um, all right, let's put this up. Where? What's your favorite Mezco Marvel and DC character? Let's go around the horn with Baz. Oh, great question. See, Marvel. these are the questions I like. Well, DC would be Batman, of course. Yeah. For your Mezco figure, which which Mezco Batman do you have? Oh, Mezco. Oh, oh Mezco. Mezco. I thought just comics. Oh, my no, God. No, no. This Mezco. is like what's your favorite Mezco Marvel and DC character. Okay. Uh, wait, do I have to own it or just what I think is awesome? Uh, what, I guess either one. Or maybe both. If you have one that you really think is awesome but you don't have it quite yet, I guess that also counts. All right. Well, at the top right now for DC, I'll say Sovereign Knight Batman. Um. And then Marvel, if I own it, shit, it's hard. I want to say my Gambit or... Um, Gambit's such a good figure. Holy shit. Yeah, it's such or, a good figure. Or uh, the San Diego Comic-Con Punisher. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. so that Gambit or Punisher, definitely the Batman Sovereign Knight for DC. Cool. Baz? I would say, uh, shit, it's it's a toss up between DC Aquaman or um, Green Lantern. I'd probably go with Green Lantern. You have Hal Jordan, right? Yeah, either it's one, either one of those. Too. I have John Stewart too, so either either right. one of them. Aquaman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like five years old. I used to fucking play with that in the tub. <laughs> Aquaman. Uh, so. Uh, and uh, I'd say Doctor Strange from Marvel. Though I wow, saw it, okay. I really liked it. Yeah, you liked it. You saw it. Yeah, I didn't have that one. It's mm -hmm. nice and colorful. I'm looking at my collection right now. I gotta say, for DC, oh boy, my favorite, my personal favorite, is probably the blue and gray Sovereign Knight Batman because I just think that Batman is my favorite character in any IP ever, and that's just yeah. like my Batman, the blue and gray one. Uh, but objectively, gray, he's not. What? Sorry, black and gray for me. You're blue and gray. Yeah. I mean, it's the same six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. They're both great. I just like mm -hmm. the blue one that pops. The color pops more off the shelf, but I do have both. Objectively, though, like if I had to be like completely objective, I think Shazam's probably a better figure than the Batman. Um, and shit, man. I don't know. Uh, DC wise. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Green Lantern, Aquaman, all so fucking good, man. You know what? I can't pick one. Don't oh, fuck it. The Batman, the Green Black Batman for DC and for Marvel. Gambit's really objectively Gambit's probably the best one, or or any Punisher objectively, but personally my favorite, um, would probably be uh probably be the Punisher. That what I did with my Punisher was I had the classic Punisher. The, the one that was like that's highly sought after with the cl all cloth outfit with the two holsters. And mm -hmm. I took the holsters off and I took weapons from that figure and like uh, the, the, the strap that goes around his leg. And I put that on the San Diego Comic-Con Punisher, which is like the special ops one. So I have the special ops Punisher with all the weapons and gear from the other Punisher and then sold off the shit I didn't want. So, yeah. So I'll, I'll yeah. Final answer, black and gray. But I'm just on. Night, man, and uh, my uh, Play a long card. On Punisher. yeah, word. And uh, he wrote, uh, Sam Brock says, uh, uh, Blade is my jam. DC, I don't know offhand. Yeah, Blade is an amazing fucking figure. I have that figure, he is fucking awesome, man. Yeah, he really that figure was slept on. And I was like, I even sold mine, and I was like, shit, we watched the Blade trilogy here, me and Little Man. And I was like, I may have to rebuy this, and now I see how much it goes for, and I was like, fuck it. I don't it's almost like a Wesley Snipes blade. It's so awesome. 
Yeah, no, it really is. That, that figure is really great. Now, my favorite overall Mezco figure, another one that I sold because he just didn't fit in with the collection, but it's arguably, I think, the best Mezco figure they've ever done, and that's take a pick either one of the Popeyes. I think they're both incredible figures. Top to bottom from packaging, stuff they come with, original, not original IP, but like off the beaten path character that you might like – all right, it's a Popeye figure. And then you get it in hand and you're like, oh my God, like this thing is really incredible. So that was like the biggest surprise for me. And uh, I always go back to that one. Like the one figure I opened up and was like, whoa, when I, when I opened it up. We'll say this, we're taking like, you know, a kind of, you know, mild pop culture, you know, piece of history and they made it, you know, took it, knock it out, knocked it out of the park. Yeah, exactly. Like they really knocked that figure out of the park. Like he's like a, a favorite Mezco of mine that I probably can't ever take myself to sell, but he's not one of their best by any means. And that's the Clockwork Orange, Alex uh, DeLarge, because I just love that movie and I love the book. I read it in college. I had to write a paper on it. So like I just like looking at that, knowing that I have a Clockwork Orange six inch action figure in my collection, mm -hmm. but he's not necessarily the best one in my collection by any means. He's probably one of the ones that aren't as good as any of the other ones. I happen to like him because of what it reminds me of. It's like the Nosferatu that I got from you. Nosferatu's a great figure too, man. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, like, it's really friggin' nice. You know, I was almost thinking about just keeping, like, all the accessories for that and just selling the figure off, but I was like, nah, screw it. And when you were like, y'all take it, I was like, fuck it. You could have it. It's, it's all yours, you know. That, that coffin and the rats are awesome. Mm -hmm. The little lantern and stuff, it's great. Like, yeah, that, like, yeah, uh, pop culture or, like, you know, fan favorite-wise, probably not really the biggest, but what they did with it, they killed it. Wow, this guy's got all the ins ill questions today. What's your favorite Mezco horror figure? His is Freddy. Uh, Don't Freddy own it. Either. The best one. Ob objectively, Freddy's the best figure. I think I even said that in my review. <laughs> I did because the articulation is – is I've never – it has the best articulation on any oh, Mezco yeah. figure. I have. Well, and I don't have it anymore because I sold it because <coughs> I wasn't doing horror, but yours would be Freddy. The only horror figure I kept was Ash, and I believe Donnie's going to be taking over ownership of Ash soon because I'm keeping my sideshow one. Um, and that's the only reason why, because Ash is like my favorite fucking movie character ever. More cursing. More cursing for you, Mr. Toy Time Machine. He's like driving around the block from his house. He doesn't have to go home to continue listening to us. It's hilarious. That's awesome. Uh, so stoked for Leatherface. Yeah, Leatherface is probably going to be the best coming through. That that the blood off of the chainsaw effect is just that's awesome, bro. I, I was hoping and praying for it. I remember I was talking to my buddy probably a day or two before they released it. I'm like, yo, it would be so sick if Mezco released Leatherface. You know, create the uh, the four horsemen of horror, right? Yeah. And then and then he uh, he messed. I got I wake up to this message in the in the morning. Look what they're doing. I'm like. Fuck, like, I haven't been so stoked for a figure in a while, and I'm glad they did that. The only reason why I didn't get Leatherface is because, again, I don't have any of the other horror characters, but Leatherface is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, out of all, like, the, the four horsemen of horror kind, I guess you would call them. Leatherface is my favorite. Right. Um, but if it comes to Freddy or Jason, it's Freddy. But I'll say that Jason figure is amazing with all those accessories he comes with. Like, yeah, and swap out and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The only, um, the only Mezco horror figure that hasn't been made that if they made him, I would not be able to get rid of out of my collection. I would have to have him as um, uh, Captain Spaulding. I love the evil clown from, from uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and uh, the Devil oh. Rejects. Love that character. Um, Sid Haig, what a fucking awesome actor, man. Um, so, all right. Uh, wow, he's got, yeah, well, okay. Uh, wow, this guy's all about Mezco. And what about the best Mezco head sculpt, in your opinion? Thanks, dudes. Uh, Yo, I, I got a weird question. You ever notice how, like, sometimes, like, a head sculpt looks like it's, like, made out of wax and they missed, like, a paint over yeah. it? Like, they missed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm hmm It's um, best head sculpt, though. Um, Gambit's really good. Really good. I like. <sighs> what about Reeve? Well, Nos Nosferatu is one Reeve of the best. Good. There's a great one. That's Reeve, a great yeah, Reeve is good. A lot of people are shitting on that figure lately. It's a, it's an effing awesome what figure. figure. The what Christopher figure? Reeve Superman Mezco figure is great. A lot of people are crapping on it. It's a good. It's good, man. I don't understand what the hell these people are saying. Um. 
I'll say this since I have it right here. This this head sculpt is fucking amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Sovereign with the scratch marks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That is that's a, a great one. head sculpt. Um, Catwoman without her cowl, like that's a great head sculpt. I like that one too. I do like yeah. that one. I gotta no, say, OG Wonder Woman, dude. OG Wonder yeah, Woman, like really this good. one, like her eyes are like apart, like you don't know where she's looking. Yeah, that one's a little like she has almost like too much space between her eyes and her nose, like kind of. It's weird. It's almost like a different face. Um, well, what do you think about the Harvey Dent Two Face? What do you think about their uh, their work? What they did with it? Well, hold on, hold on. Why do you have a bunch of fucking heads just fucking like laying around? Oh, right. I'll switch my camera. Whoops! How the fuck? No, it's like you you show. you're switching your camera. I'm putting you on, man. It's like he was prepared for this question. There we go. Switch it. There we go. So yeah, here. I have I have it on my table. That's why. Oh, nice. I like the way the lights hitting that Batman, bro. Damn. And then I uh, took a bendy wire. Whoops! Shit. Did a little coil effect, like coming out. You got to drop the camera a little. Drop it. Yeah. Wait. Drop it. There. Angle it down. Hang on, fuck. Camera right, Donnie. The other down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here. Sorry, my bad. All right. So, yeah, I took a bendy wire, you know, made a coil effect. And, yeah, I have all the accessories. Catwoman took a little Lego diamond, shaved off the peg. Put That's it in cool. Head. And then uh, made my own little bendy wire whip. Uh, and then yeah, Two Face. That's a great accessory. Two Face's coin flip. That's like one of my favorite Mezco accessories. Right, the mid flip coin type thing. Genius. Yeah, it's like the cherry on top. And the briefcase bomb is uh pretty pretty banging. I like how yeah, it's like looks like it's detonating. You see a little like like beating little bomb. You know. But yeah. All right. Let's see if I can get back to my face without. Fucking this up. Oh, where? There we go. Speaking of go. boxes, uh, did you see the box art for Dr. Fate? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm, that's one thing I'm actually really happy about. I'm hearing that the box, I get my Dr. Fate tomorrow. He comes in and it's a smaller box. I heard like um, more in line with like those, exclu they're exclusive versions. I like it when things are small because it goes in a closet or goes in a bin. So small box and cool box art on it totally. Instead of just the symbol or something simple, it looks dope. What I don't understand is why, like, they can't do the exclusive, like, Comic-Con boxes for Mezco. You know how they're smaller? Yeah. Then you're, like, why, you know, and then you get a normal other figure, and it has the same amount of accessory accessories, but they got to make it a fucking bigger box. No, nah, I know. Yeah, totally. I'm totally down with the uh, the smaller yeah. boxes. Isn't Catwoman's box a little bit smaller? It's on the smaller side? No, no. It's it's oh. usually your uh, exclusives, like your gold stickers that get the smaller boxes. Oh, that's what, okay, yeah, because I got the purple Catwoman. That's why. So yeah. Box smaller yeah right no. that's what yeah you went with the purple one that's cool that's a good good one too man the um i can't wait for the modern wonder woman i can't wait for constantine i can't wait for dr fate i'm i i, I can't believe he's actually coming out that early and i'm looking forward to conan too those two go really well together constantine and dr fate you know yeah and then, uh, you know get another magical character in there maybe zatanna hello mezco yeah <laughs> let's go wake up Wake up, McFly. That's what's Robin Hater. About them. Oh, I was just gonna say that. It's one thing that just drives me nuts is that they get like, eh, we don't feel like making this figure, so we're gonna make you know, it's like making the Ghostbusters, but no Peter Vankman. It's like, what are we doing here? <laughs> you know, I just don't like that one guy, so I'm not gonna make him. It's like, come on, man, what the fuck are you doing? You know, so but anyways, uh listen, Mr. Craig Brooks. Uh, he says, this is excellent. Look forward to these live chats. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you came on the channel. I don't know if you're a subscriber here, if you belong to the uh, the Facebook group, if you're even on Facebook. Good. But, you know, the information's down there at the bottom. Hit the bell. We go live. You know, we've been going live weekly. We took a big break off. But, you know, you, got, you stay up to date and stuff, and we'd love to have you on. Uh, we need a better Mezco female body first. Yeah, true. We're hoping that the uh, modern Wonder Woman solves that problem. We'll see how that goes because supposedly they're um, – they have like a little bit more of range in the elbow motion. It's still single jointed, but supposedly it's supposed to go up a little bit past 90 degrees. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Canary with like sonic effects. 
You know, never Rob, you gave me the, you gave me the heads up warning. Thank God, I almost broke my uh, Catwoman's arm. Like you know, it's supposed to bend this way, but it was reversed, so it bent. You know, and I didn't know, so I'm trying to bend it this way. Yeah, I'd have flip it 180. So yeah, thank God you told me that's that. That's another thing. These guys, they people grab these figures right out of the package and go to bend them, and they're not realizing you have to because of the cloth. You have to line up the joints first. Take your time. Find the joint. Yeah. Even if the figure's leg is bending backwards, just bend it backwards and rotate it. Rotate the cloth, bend it, rotate the cloth, and go on and so on and so forth. Otherwise, yeah. you'll go and you'll just snap the shit right off. Um, Baz, what were you saying now about uh, Black Canary? I'm just saying, just imagine like a, an awesome Black Canary with the, the sonic effects coming out of there, the Canary Cry. They'd probably have to like do something like reinforce the, like the neck joint, be, like the way Cyclops is like, you'd probably lose neck articulation. Cause if you put like the plastic thing in her mouth to s signify the sonic effect, she'll yeah. probably have that like head uh, head over time. Yeah. Um, just the, the peg will snap or something. Uh, they could put a regular peg in her ne neck for articulation. And then maybe you pull that out and put like the other neck in or something. Maybe mm -hmm. that goes in like further or some shit, like a reinforced fucking thing to stop that from happening. I mean, who knows? Um, Migo. Uh, oh yeah, Migo, Migo. All right, so uh, yeah, we had uh, take what, over. One sec, I'll be back. We had Phil Diaz. Uh, good, it was going to come on, but he hasn't joined us just yet. But uh, what do you got here, Badge? You want to share something? Uh, no, I don't have anything. I just I had the uh, the Punisher. Oh, 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 you're talking about oh this oh Neca. It's share oh. the share uh, the screen, right? Share screen. Yeah. Yeah, Universal Monsters figures from NECA official announcement. Bella Lugosi as Dracula and more. Oh, so NECA is doing what Mezco couldn't. <laughs> well, ne NECA was able to get, uh, to what you call get the, uh, what you call, I guess, uh, Bella Lugosi's family had the rights to his likeness or something. Right. So they got them to sign it over to them. So that's awesome. That's what was holding it back, I guess. Remember, we kept saying, where's the, where's the Bella Lugosi Dracula? So but they're doing more than that, too, right? They got like, uh, I think Lon Chaney, too, right? And they got the Wolfman yeah. and 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 Boris Koloff as the uh, the mummy, too. The mummy. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. They, I think they show a little sneak peek of the mummy. Let me scroll on down. Sorry, I just came in. What are we talking about? NECA. NECA is oh. releasing the Universal Monsters line. Right. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, it looks nice. Holy shit. Wait, Lighting who's that? Okay. That's the mummy. That's the mummy? Yeah. That's the classic a black and white mummy, Boris Karloff, from like the 1920s oh, or 30s. Oh, he wasn't bandaged up. Yeah, it's maybe, maybe it'll have like a, a what you call it. You know, the original mummy had that look to it. And uh, maybe they'll have, you know, different things there. That's got to be Wolfman. Wolfman, yeah. Lon Chaney Wolfman stuff. It's pretty cool. A lot of people crap on NECA because they, they say that their stuff breaks, like their joints mm -hmm. break a lot, uh, the quality control issues on them. But I, I don't really have any, so I couldn't even judge on that. But these do look great. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, uh, Richard Simmons. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but, I got uh, I've got Pinhead to to tear his soul apart. Nice. How are they? Pins. That's NECA. How how is the how are their figures? They're good, man. They they yeah. definitely uh, they've gotten better over the years. Nice, that's good. It's good to know. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy about the Universal Monster stuff, man. Uh, I I want I wish Mezco would have did it. I had the Frankenstein doorway, all that stuff. I was all in, and you know. They just kind of dropped it and, and moved on. But they drop things halfway through it, too. Like, they didn't want to do a Carrie Kelly Robin because they don't like Robin, even for the Dark Knight Returns. They never did a Joker or a Superman from that. And that was, like, their first figure five years ago. So it's like, what the, what are you doing, man? You know. But uh, this was released today. Moving on to other things that people are going cuckoo about, but I'm just about to crap all over. Um, Galactus. Galactus. Maquette. This is the... Uh, the giant 26 inch tall new premium format Galactus. And uh, I don't know. I'm kind of like, eh, about it. I don't know if I like Galactus in that pose. Like, I don't know if I'm feeling that, you know, I guess it's kind of cool. Cause he's standing over like a destroyed city and shit. That's pretty cool. You know, absorbing some kind of cosmic thing going on. I think their OG Galactus was awesome where he had his arm out. And Silver Surfer was like a smaller Silver Surfer was like flying around him. I really thought that one was dope. This is kind of like, all right. <laughs> hey, Baby Yoda, I'm everywhere. <laughs> you can't fucking avoid the motherfucker. 
Yeah, word. Hail the chat. What's up, Zade? Yo, I sent you a, a link, bro, in your uh, in the Facebook Messenger, dude. So if you want to come on here, go check your Facebook Messenger stuff. Um. So yeah, this was released today, eight fifty, whatever. I, you know, people must have. Oh my God, Galactus! But the new Silver Surfer is just as tall. It's like two inches shorter than the Galactus. So to have the two of them together just really doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. It's, it is what it is. I'm not going to try to hate on somebody that loves something, but that's, that's way too much, man. Yeah, they got some new Iron Studios Joker stuff. They got the uh, SH Figure Arts John Walker. A couple of new prints. Uh, Zade says he's in. Zade's in. Yeah, he's backstage. <laughs> Baby Yoda's back too. Hold on a second. Uh, drop your uh, your share screen, Baz. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, we had too much stuff to share. What's going on, dude? Oh. What's How are you? What's going on? It's Thanks good to have you back. It's been it's been a year, good, man. Good. It's been forever, bro. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. this is. I know, uh, dude. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm glad you guys are streaming again. Yeah, man, it's it's been a long time, exactly. Yo, Zade Comics, uh, Phil is a writer of Zade Comics, uh, an independent comic uh, publication, and he's got a thing going on right now on Indiegogo called Magic Cop Part Two. Uh, Zade, real quick, I'm gonna bring up Magic Cop Two. Give us a talk about that, and then I want to see your Lobo thing if it's if it's a, near you or available. <laughs> so hold on a second. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take this off. Hell yeah! Stop screen. I'm gonna reshare. Hold Are on. We right talking about a Lobo on. print or a figure? Monster statue, actually. Oh, it's Whoa. a. All right, yeah, take yeah. it away, Zade. I'm a huge Lobo fan. Because I already got my shit in. Oh so. yeah, Magic Cop Two. So this is <laughs> this is the sequel uh, to the first one, which was the first book we ever did. I'm the writer. My brother is the artist, and uh, it's basically a mixture between Miami Vice and uh, monsters and magic stuff like Harry Potter, Halloween Town. Um, all this stuff. Oh, you're in the the comments there. You got to go over to go back up. You'll go to the story where it says story right below the. There you go. Yeah, um, yeah. So this is like 90 pages. Uh, in this story, they're dealing with uh, the war on drugs. So there's this new drug in the city called Pixie Dust, and it it is exactly what you think it is. It's basically like magic cocaine. Um, if you guys uh, snort this pixie dust, you'll get magical power. So they have a bunch of junkies running around the city, and uh, the team, Magic Cop and his buddy Gray Wolf, who's a, a, a wolf man. There's a sexy witch on the team as well, and a, a giant leprechaun. So they have to uh, take out whoever is making this pixie dust. Um, and it's, it's just balls to the wall fun. Uh, that's the bad guy right there, Arsenic Jones. He uses magic as steroids. So he's basically like magical Bane. Um, he's a total badass, and he's uh, he's hired this next character. If you scroll down, we'll see the headless hitman, and he's basically like our version of the Terminator. Uh, you know, a mixture of Sleepy Hollow with the Terminator, and uh, it's just a, a, a ton of fun. So check it out. There's a lot we're offering with this as well. There's an ash can um, that's kind of like a our take on maybe like a Enter the Dragon uh, with with some of the characters there. And if you guys did miss the first one, there's a reprint drawn uh, cover reprint with by Kelsey Shannon. So that's the the book one reprint. So you're able to get the first book as well. Well, I love the first book. This is your third offering on Indiegogo, right? You guys had Magic Hop One, yeah. then you had the Lost Pages, uh, which was really good too. I didn't get a chance to um to really comment too much about that on the channel, but uh, it was really really good. A character that surprised the shit out Thanks, of me. Man. You know, I was all about the silhouette, and then I was like, ah, I'm not really taking yeah. the masquerade guy too much. Maybe we'll see. And it winded up being one of my favorite of the stories. It actually uh, was awesome. Pretty, pretty, yeah. It surprised the shit out of me. So that was cool. Uh, so now he's a, a fan favorite. Thanks, <laughs> so, um, you know, you never Thanks, know, man. man, but that was pretty cool. It's like, a what would you call like an anthology of like little mini stories about like this, the Zade comics universe or so to speak. And, uh, but, but my shit is yeah, magic. Sure. My, I'm telling you, I'm, you know, I just love these characters. It's like, like you said, my, it reminds me of like Grand Theft Auto, like the 1980s, um, Grand Theft Auto yeah, video yeah, game. My city. city. Yeah. And uh, it's just, it's fun as hell. These characters are dope. The, I recognize first, this artist too. Who did the stickers? Uh, so the stickers are drawn by 6am comics. He's an yep. awesome friend of ours. He does a bunch of stickers in, uh, in CG. 
and uh, we actually make them in house. So, and you know who else yeah. he did? He did our uh, mascot. He did red, the Red Cup for the Red Cup review. Oh so, yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. So I never recognized like, that. Our, but you're right. Exactly. Our our new T-shirt and whatever the hell you want, put it on a fucking mug and all that shit. Um, so our like new print for Red Cup review is is by that guy also that that did his stickers. He's cool. Yeah. What's his face? Dan Frager put us on to him. I, I hit up Dan and I was like, Dan, could you point me in the right direction? He's like, Yo, six AM comics. Yeah. You've got your name written all over it for this stuff. You know. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's a cool dude. He's Donnie, do you have a worker. question? Oh, so I, I heard the mention of Pixie Dust. By the way, awesome artwork. So is this Pixie Thanks, Dust man. actually coming from? I saw a Pixie in the in the illustration. Mm -hmm. Is that actually is that Pixie Dust coming from them Pixies? Are they producing that Pixie Dust? <laughs> You know, in a factory or what's going on? Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll see. You get little hints of it in the comic, but yeah, there's um, you know, the bad guy capture. He's got a stash of pixies that he uh, kind of tortures to get to get this dust out of them. It's it's like a a mixture of the biological stuff from the pixies to to get the essence, and basically, it's that specific magic that you could inhale and get magical powers. Cool. So if they farted and I inhaled that, would I get off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you're into, man. I mean, that's the, uh, the specific. You know. But that's one thing I want to show you is the, uh, the magic cup. So yeah, I got this my is magic available cup. on the campaign. Yep. Awesome. I, I, the, the, you know, I already have number one, so I just got the number two and the uh, the magic cup. I thought that was pretty dope. Drink a yeah. nice big amount of jack daniels out of the magic cup be dope <laughs> so, yeah. uh, do you know how to give somebody a wrench because rob doesn't can figure it out he's dense yes yeah, so um rob if you pull up youtube in another window uh, -huh. uh and so you can see the chat you'll uh when you go over the chat and you hover over people's like little what they're saying there'll be three dots that appear next to what they said you click on those dots then you should be able to say, uh, put add moderator. All right, hold on a second. Let me pause yeah. that out. Yeah, but you have to be in, in the YouTube. Uh, yeah, I'm looking in there now, right? So then I would, so then Baz writes booyah, right? Then there's the yeah. three dots there, and then add moderator. Yep. There we go. Baz is now moderator. Booyah. There you go. All right, yeah. did it. Yeah. Done. All right, so uh, Zade, show us the um, show us the Lobo, man. Yeah, I pulled it up. It's right, uh, it's right here. So if you want to make me big, I yeah, can get the yeah. camera a little closer. Heck, yo, you guys got to see this. This statue is like, fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. So I did a, a video unboxing and review on my channel, but this thing is huge. It's by XM Studios, which they're based out of Singapore. Uh, awesome company. They've been around for uh, maybe almost like almost ten years now, but. You know, I was always familiar with Sideshow. You know, of course, I had the Sideshow Big Boy Premium Format logo right here, the Hellboy below. But uh, this was like the new Holy Grail piece because I always wanted a piece with Lobo on his motorcycle. And it's not too huge. Like, it's not like a Prime One giant freaking statue, but it's, it's just the right it, it size. It doesn't really fit in a cabinet, but I think displaying it like this, it's usually up against the wall. Um, and I mean, dog is freaking amazing. Have I him. love that he's throwing the dog, bro. I think that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It looks like he's ready to throw it at you. <laughs> right. So it, it comes with two versions. I don't know if you guys saw the video, but um, you could have him like this. It's also, he has two head sculpts. So this head pops off and he has one where the tongue's not flying out of his mouth. But the other version uh, is just, he's standing there and he could sit on his engine in case you wanted to put like the gun in Lobo's hand, um, or he has another one with his his hook as well. But I mean, this thing is I pre ordered this back in like 2019 before I even did Magic Cop, and uh, it took a while, but it was so worth it because just the way if you guys go watch that video, just the way it's packaged and everything is just so professional. Uh, here's his other head sculpts too. Like uh, the cigar, sick. Yeah, 
Dude, this is like really the cool. best Lobo statue I've ever seen, man. It really is. Yeah. It encompasses everything you could possibly want from Lobo. That's what I like about it. It's not just one. Yeah. It's got the three different head sculpts, the two different dogs. That you got to put the hook, the gun. The, it's like in the friggin' bike. Uh, you might already yeah, mentioned it, 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 but uh, what company is it? XM Studios. XM Studios. Yeah. They're uh, out of Singapore, but they do have the licenses for DC. So you could, uh, in America, you could buy directly from them, which is what I did. And I just like even the base, like their XM's bases are so pro, like it's a piece of art itself. And even just these these flames back here, they look like they're glowing. And um, the headlights on this bike uh, light up too. So you could just pop this off and then flip a switch and the headlights light up, uh, which is pretty simple to do. Because... It's not, that's only connected by magnets, of course. So pop this off, flip a little switch there. Oh, wow, it's bright. And uh, yeah, just gives that extra flair. And in case you have the ladies over, you know, you want to impress the chicks. <laughs> Especially with that lazy Susan action. They'd love that. Oh, You're yeah, for sure. Bring me on. <laughs> 360 rotation and i actually had a guy hit me up on facebook and he's like hey do you have um the lobo display card so that's what this is he wanted to buy it from me i guess it only goes out to early pre-orders um, but it's like this metal trading card uh portrait of lobo and it has a little frame like stand in the oh, back nice. so you do that's display cool. the guy wanted to give me 100 bucks for it i'm like no dude i'm a little <laughs> fanatic like, you know. yeah you know, one cool, of some of uh, Bisley's uh, original covers for Lobo went for like $190,000 recently. <sighs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Lobo number one, $192,000 uh, this past week. It's crazy. Rob, was it Bisley so, that I, I won that print off you, a Lobo? That was you that won the print? Yeah. Oh, you won yeah, it? And Zade yeah. was like, you had that fucking print? <laughs> like, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that was Simon Bisley that. was signed. Yeah, man, I got that from uh, Nicole Jelenic's, uh, um table, Baz, at uh, at one of the cons. She yeah. she knows Beasley, Beasley, Beasley. So she was like, she had a stack of prints that was signed uh, by him with the Santa Claus cut off head, and I had it for a while, and I was like doing the giveaways in the channel. Donnie won it, and uh, Zade was like, "Yo, you did a freaking like, uh, you know, I didn't even put two and two together, man. You're being wrapped up with all this other shit. Take it easy, yeah, CM. I, I just take it easy." I get Bisley's new sketchbook, and um, it was awesome. I did another video on my channel about that, but it came with this cool Ninja Turtles print by, uh, oh, by Bisley. Nice. And then I had him do a head sketch of our character, Crim, Crimstone from the Lost Pages. Uh, that's and cool. And that's, you know, original art, colored. Uh, he actually did the cover for our book as well, The Lost Pages, which is so cool working with him. Yeah, it's awesome, man. That's um, Zade, I got a question for you. Um, yeah. Have you seen Clayton Crane's work or heard of Clayton Crane? No, I've never. No? Okay. Um, Crane. Uh, he's done uh, a lot of Venom, Carnage stuff. Uh, awesome artist. Oh, guys, yeah. I don't even know stuff if I could do it. Really cool. Yeah. Um, like, I, I, you know, I, I don't get comics monthly or a lot, but. Um, I just, I feel he's an awesome, beautiful artist. Um, he did Carnage USA. Yeah, I don't know if you heard about that book. It's where like Carnage. Oh, dude, I love that book. I didn't know if he drew that. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite Marvel books. I have a poster it's yeah. not in my bookcase right now, but it's a uh, where it's first, like where he's uh, like Uncle Sam. Carnage. I don't have that one. I have where he's draped in the American flag. Yes, yeah. So that's Clayton Crane's work. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's great. Um, where is can you? Where do you order the uh, the X? That, that's a six scale statue, right? Like one sixth. Is yes, this is one sixth. On yeah. What? Yeah. Where do you get the? Where do you order them yes. from? Because you can't find XM Studios really anywhere. Where do so, you get yours from? So they they have yeah they have a website at xmstudios.com. Uh, I pre ordered it when that was open. I'm not sure if they're if it's still available on there because. They their pre orders sell out quick, but uh, yeah, it gives you all the stats. And the cool thing too is you could register your statue on there with the serial number, um, 
And then if you're going to sell it, then you could kind of transfer that registration to whoever you sell it to. So they, they know it's kind of a uh, quality. And like, if, if someone's selling you an XM piece and you could just make sure they're not BSing you if they give you your, their, uh, their, their code, which is pretty cool. I got number nine out of 258. Oh, wow. That's a nice little, uh, yeah. I'm bringing it up now. I'm bringing up the XM studio stuff, Chrome tab. Make some studios share. Let's see. Collection news. The XM brand pre order, I guess, collection, right? Yeah, yeah. If you go to collection. Okay, yeah. They're doing the new Spider Man, like swinging out of the explosion thing. Okay. Uh, let's mm-hmm. see. Wow, they got a lot of shit. Let me go to six scale because I'm pretty much mostly a six scale guy. Yeah, load yeah. Up. Um, come on. Come on, man. The click filter. Uh, Doi. Filter. Okay, let's see. Oh, they got a lot of DC stuff too. Oh, they got the Super Sons. Yeah. Nice. Rebirth, Lex Luthor, Hawkman. Their DC stuff is cool because they do characters like Hawkman and Black Adam and and Shazam. Characters you don't see. Like, look at that. Uh, Reverse Flash, you know, cool stuff. SDG 629. I wonder what that comes out to US wise. Huh, unless that is the um, U.S. price. No, it, it's a little less. I'd say it's like maybe 200 bucks less. Oh, Baz, this is the studio that did the Justice League Jump in Dark side thing that you liked. Yeah, how much is that? Uh, yeah. 3000 Yeah, it's got to at least be around yeah. Because it's enormous. If that's six scale, all those characters that are around Dark side are the size of the tweeter heads. Because they're six I scale. <laughs> I would only buy that statue if like, I lived in a nuclear bunker. <laughs> I, I do oh, think yeah, that the, uh, the Green Lantern, the Green Lantern uh, what's her name? The uh, Latina. Jessica Cruz. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, yes. Jessica Cruz. Who, whom EVS uh, created, right? Yes. That's I right. didn't even know that. Yeah, these are really freaking nice, man. Um, as I click on it, it's just opening up another friggin' thing for me to share. So I'm going to have to get out of this screen share and go to another, but whatever. You guys get the oh, idea. They're really nice. It's another tab, yeah. yeah they're just tabbing right. me here. So, but, uh, yeah, of, uh, nice. Ethan Van Skyver, did you see Phil? Did you see his uh, prototypes for the Cyberfrog uh, figures? Yeah, dude, they look crazy. They're so right. good. I, I love that '90s one, man. Yeah, uh, what's her? Uh, Heather Swain looks amazing too. Yeah, yeah. Rob, if you didn't know, EVS showed a bunch of uh, prototypes for Cyberfrog and uh, the human character, his friend uh, Heather Swain. And uh, it's amazing. They're, they're, uh, they're 112, they're articulated, um, great gulps. So, huh. um, I know you guys are, a bit, yeah, you guys are uh, a bit older than me. Are you guys a fan of The Prisoner, that old TV show? I've heard of it, I've never watched it though. No, okay, yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, apparently, like everyone's all gung ho. It's the first uh, figures finally coming out, really, with, uh, yeah. With uh, number six and that little white orb, whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, I heard it was like some really mind fuckery type of show, like you know, yeah. like a spy kind of like. Yeah. So I wanted, to, I wanted to show Donnie this. This is uh, the Ooh. cover to my uh, the last comic we did. This is a Simon Bisley cover. Oh, so it's like sick. all the characters. Pretty fun. I love yeah, this the one's color still on man. Indiegogo yeah, too. I, I, uh, oh, I love, yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. your creativity with color, man. You got so many palettes of color; it's awesome. Thanks, bro. Yeah, and here's the back of it. It's pretty cool too. But uh, yeah, this is still on Indiegogo. We ship them out uh, on demand, basically. So if anyone orders them, we have a bunch of them. So we just ship them out. And I also picked these up this week. For, uh, I feel uh, like I you guys are doing a comic for you. Where are you based? Yeah. At, uh, where are you living? Chicago. Um, uh, are you? Do you have any of your stuff in like local comic shops or stuff like that, or just not not yet? We're trying. There's a a a store. There's a chain over here called Graham Crackers. They have some stores in Wisconsin, uh, but mostly in Illinois. And uh, I took that in, and they're like, "Oh yeah, the cover's awesome. Looks like really high quality." And but they were basically like, 
right now with COVID, we can't really sell stuff that isn't Batman because no one's taking a chance on stuff, you know, uh, which is like roll my eyes at that because I know right. some of their stores have local creator sections, you mm-hmm. know, where right you, exactly local creators, um, but some of the bigger stores do. So I mean, I, I even emailed them the PDF of it to look through and then it never got back to me. I was just over there yesterday, but I didn't follow up with them, but I'll, I'll try again. Cause you know, I think that's, this is some stuff people want. I think people will take a check. You know, we could print big posters out and put them in windows and stuff. So if they're willing mm-hmm. to, to give us a shot, we would totally do that. Honestly, all right, speaking as like a big Batman fan, how many times can you, read about or watch Batman fight the fucking Joker. You know, it doesn't <laughs> yeah. make sense anymore. Like I like all right, yeah. the point. I stopped reading the three Jokers because they got into detail like what Joker did to a, a specific group of villains. Like he cut out their tongues, he did all yeah. that shit. And then Batman comes along and I'm just like looking at Batman. I'm like, you motherfucker, it's your fault. <laughs> and I'm like, you why haven't you killed this guy yet? And I just stopped reading it. And I was like, I never went back to it. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know, so, you know, it's yeah. time for new characters, new, new, you know, explorations of, of different things, man. So the biggest problem, yeah, that's what wrong, man, the biggest problem with the independent stuff. And I was, I had this conversation with Baz a few months ago, Phil, is that uh, I was telling, I think we were talking about magic hop and I says, I, like, I don't, I would, I don't know if I would collect a monthly, because I don't have like uh, I don't have a lot of singles, but like yeah, a yearly trade with like twelve issues worth of shit or six issues worth of shit, like because I collect trades of stuff I like to read, you know. Right. Um, like there's not enough in the like there's there's only so much an independent creator could do because it's not like right. you guys want a printing press, you know what I'm saying, and have guys working around the clock doing. I'm sure it's, that's a crazy amount of art for your brother to have to draw, and you have to just be sitting there focusing yeah. on your comic and focusing on just that one thing to be cranking stories out like that, you know? But I, I need more. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's like this is not enough. We're trying to get down to a science because, like, he was working on Magic Hop while we were doing the Lost Pages, so that kind of gave him some time, a head start. So, right. like, we're already, I'd say, like, almost 65 pages into magic Cop, and it's going to be 90 pages. So it's a thick book. And yeah. so we're planning on shipping in July. So the turnaround, we're trying to get it as quick as possible. And then right now I'm working on with another artist, some, the next lost pages book, which is going to launch like in August. So oh, okay, cool. that's going to focus on the silhouette. Well, so we're going to have some stuff like that. So okay. I just got some cool promo work in from that as well. So nice. That's freaking we're awesome. Still pumping stuff out. I have, you guys are pumping out at least two things a year, pretty much for the most part. Oh, what's up with the nice. pit? I picked these up yesterday at the shop. Oh, awesome. nice. Do well, some research. You know, I, I heard uh, Dale Keown's coming back and doing some cyber frog work. Did you hear about that? Yeah. I can yes. see him crushing uh, the what's it called character, bro. The the girl that turns into the giant monster. Yeah, Crimstone. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good crossover. I did some young blood too. Yeah, I I, I messaged the I texted the Safraga and I'm like, dude, look what I found. And he's like, oh, pick up Young Blood Four because that's the first appearance of Pit in the back of it. So it is. Too. I have that. Yeah, like like over here somewhere. Holy shit, that's the first appearance of Pit. Uh, yeah, he's cool. um he has like a backstory mm-hmm. after the main comic. Very cool. That's like yeah. the one eight. Like Wolverine's first appearance wasn't necessarily in one eighty one. It was actually in one eighty. On the last panel of one eighty, you see Wolverine. Oh, yeah. his first appearance is in one eighty one. That's funny. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, what do you guys think of uh, switching gears real quick? Because I'm going to wind up having to log off soon, but I want to get at least this in there. What do you guys think of the uh, Far From Home news with uh, Alfred Molina coming back as a de aged Doc Ock? It's cool. De-aged. Yeah, they're gonna de-age him. So because Alfred Molina is older now, so they're gonna use that CGI shit to yeah. kind of make him look young again. They should just get the I mean, guys that do deep good. fake, bro. Just use the fucking deep fake guys <laughs> and, and and cut the shit. Because <laughs> you guys drop all this yeah. money, you can get guys sitting in their garage to do better work than you guys are. You know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think it's exciting. I, I mean, I thought his portrayal was awesome, and uh, it's cool. I, I hope they somehow have uh, Sam Raimi involved because. 
I know he's doing Doctor Strange, and it would be cool to see uh, that character under his, um, you know, kind of uh, direction again. Well, supposedly this will lead into, uh, you know, Doctor Strange's, uh, what is it, the, the Multiverse of Madness movie? Because this is yeah, going yeah. to open up the multiverse. No, and that's the whole No Way Home thing. He's probably stuck through the traveling through the multiverse in the movie. So this is going to be like the live mm-hmm. action version of what the cartoon was, pretty much. I'm hoping right. for there's, there's still a movie out there for Mobius, where we saw uh, Michael Keaton's uh, uh, Vulture. In the uh, what you call it, in the trailers, I, I f- totally forgot that movie was even made because it just never came out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, when's that coming out? <laughs> so that's connected too. So yeah, word. And that's supposedly funny. he's in this one too. Also, uh, Keaton. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, Keaton's in everything, right? Which and was going to lead me to the next thing. Keaton's coming back again. Defoe also. So that would be it. awesome. Uh, I just want to see Sinister Six. Like, I want to see a Sinister Six movie. That's what I want. Yeah. That's what I'm waiting Pretty for. Sick. They got to build up. They got to do these. No, I know. They got to do it <laughs> where it's not just every character on the screen at once. Like these other characters that were in past Spider-Man movies, bring them back for the team up, you know? Well, we are. Well, we got Vulture now. We got Mysterio. Um, who are we missing? An Electro. Scorpion. Scorpion was in the first Spider-Man movie too. Not a lot of people know that was the dude that was uh, Vulture's right-hand but, man. No, but Matt Gargan isn't uh, uh, an original Sinister Six though. Yeah, it's true. Well, you know, the, in the movies, they'll just make their own fucking version of the character. Sinister right. Six, like, this is the team we're going with. Yeah. You know, it'll be easier that way because people maybe will be able to, like, look back and say, hey, like, I remember that character from that movie. So, okay, whatever. So, yeah. uh, I also heard they're, they're putting the uh, the 90s uh, animated Spider Man into the uh, Sp- next Spider Verse movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, that would be crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, That's Tony's yeah, really favorite cartoon, eh? Uh, yeah, that or X Men animated series. I'm a '90s kid, so oh. yeah, those are great. Um, I love that stuff, man. The uh, I mean, they're gonna if they're gonna bring back this Doctor Octopus, and it's just gonna be in one of those like he's like going through the multiverse, and he happens to find the scientist, and it's Doc Ock, and he's not really fighting him. Then it's like, all right, whatever. Like, I want him to actually fight. I wonder if he can actually be the villain of the movie. You know, like. I, you know, it seems like the. Yeah. I'm so excited for these movies, but it seems like they're just throwing every character ever into these movies, and it's like, okay, well then, who's he fighting? Like, what's going to be the main focus of the friggin' movie? You know, they need to bring back Coco Diaz. Yeah. He he was in uh, Spider-Man too. That'd be Who awesome. Be Coco Diaz. Yo, yo, Uncle Joey, I hope he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, so, okay, so. Speaking of comebacks, Keaton's now in the Flash movie, which was a rumor and is now official, I guess, right? Yeah, they're also talking is about... Is going to be a Bale? I don't know. I, I really don't want that. I want Bale to stay in his own universe. Is he going to be a weather, wizard, uh, weather wizard? Who? Oh, I hope not. I'd... Who can nice be uh, The top? Man, Flash has some bad villains. I think he's just gonna be Batman, right? He's playing, yeah, he's playing Batman in the Flash, right? Michael Keaton's talent. Yeah, he says the superhero film officially kicked off production, and uh, he even acknowledged it. I think he actually said, "Yeah, like I'm I'm back." Them on fire last month. Hinted in the interview. Like, yeah, he's back. As, I mean, I don't know how much he's going to do. The guy's 70 years old at this point, but. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you know. even if he's old man Batman, which he, he probably will be, if this goes well, then it could be a jumping off point to do a Batman Beyond movie. Yeah, word. Here, look, see. Okay, so it's officially. See, I don't I don't give sweet. much credence into anything until it's, until it's actually in production and they're actually starting to film and shit. But at the same time, I mean. Uh, Phil, like, never the, really is the Flash even going to have his own movie? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, never dude, really I, hope, of I hope the theaters are open for this one because, like, that that moment when when he goes, "I'm Batman," when Fla- you know Flash is going to go, "Who are you?" and he's going to go, <laughs> "I'm Batman." I, the the place is going to erupt. I'm going to throw <laughs> popcorn at everybody. I'm going to just <laughs> flip out, <laughs> just start dancing in the yeah, aisle. Awesome. <laughs> Everyone just wants to hear him say that. You just want to hear him say that. I just want to lose my mind. He said that at a commencement speech, How? actually. 
No, but Phil, you made a great point. I never really thought of it. Having Michael Keaton do old Bruce in, in a Batman Beyond. That'd be awesome. That's like, just how they could do it. What, yeah. Like, what yeah. a great mentor for old Bruce, Michael Keaton. The Michael yeah, Keaton Batman. The, the, see, like, I think that if they're going to, br- if he's going to go into the multiverse and actually go into that world, I don't want Gotham City or whatever the hell, the, the, wherever he's going to meet him, looking different. Like, I don't want to, like, remember, like, Batman Forever to Batman Returns? Like, the whole fucking city was just different now all of a sudden. Like, if you're going to keep him in that universe, he has to be in that universe, you know? Yeah. So the Batman yeah, Beyond yeah. would have to be like a futuristic take on what Gotham City evolved into based on what we've seen from the last two movies. At least that's how I would want it to see, like a natural progression of that universe's timeline, kind of, you know? Uh, yeah. But if you had Tim Burton do it, forget it. Uh, you know, Batman Beyond would be oozing fucking blood out of his mouth and <laughs> be like all kinds of weird shit that he put in there. Yeah. Fuck, get Frank Miller to do it. <laughs> like how they did Sin City. Did he, did he? I think he did the second movie, right? Uh, well, he, no, he, he was in the first one on the first time. movie. I know that. Oh, oh he yeah. Credit, might, yeah. Right. Robert Rodriguez did the first movie, but I know he was a consultant yes. to some extent. And then they let him make uh, The Spirit, which was fucking real terrible. Oh, it's unwatchable. It's so bad. Right? The Spirit, right? Yeah, that movie I was tried, wild. I think I tried three times to watch it. I'm like, you know what? Let me <laughs> give it another chance. And I never make it through. And it's Scarlett Johansson's in it. All these fucking hot actresses are in it, and it, it's just so it's so bad. Yeah, yeah no, I don't like it either. And Samuel Jackson's the villain. Yeah, and he's yep. terrible in it. Yeah, <laughs> so bad in it. So he did everything. I, Captain Marvel is better than that. Okay. Oh my god, I couldn't even get through that shit. Uh, any are uh, either of you guys getting the uh, Keaton bats? Baz, you're still waiting on that, right? A chance they, I, that? Listen, I ordered it, and like I accidentally ordered it like friggin' twelve times. Oh I pulled them up. I said, just get rid of eleven and leave me one order. And they just took out all my orders, so I don't have an order now. Oh, that's great. That's Mezco. Mm-hmm. That's Mezco for you. Uh, I have, I think, two yeah. or three coming. So really? I can either get you covered on that. What? Sell me one then. I'm I'm probably gonna yeah I'll, I'll sell you one I gonna I'm, I have one that I'm gonna package probably with the uh, the Reeve Superman and sell that also, and okay. then keep one for myself. Wait, you're gonna do a two pack of Keaton and uh, Reeves? Probably well, yeah. I got the I got the Keaton I got the Reeve rather Mezco like my extra, and I have Ke- another Keaton coming. I forgot if, if I have to do a two pack Keaton sell. Coming. Put me down for it. I'm I'm, cl- I'm shotgunning it if you're doing that. Oh, what doing the the Reeve and the uh, the Keaton? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. That makes my job easy. <laughs> awesome, yeah. man. Uh, we, that, we get stuff done here live. Yeah, exactly. For each other. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know. Oh, my God. Oh, what else was fucking mentioned? Oh, yeah. Hot Toys had some fucking oh, stupid ass release this week, too. They released another fucking quantum suit version of Tony Stark. No one gives a shit about. I don't yeah. give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's the like same those, shit. Those figures are paperweights, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, and they showed off like what the the alternate head sculpt is going to be for their Mark eighty five, like when he snaps his fingers version, and it's a better head sculpt. But now people are complaining, "Hey, isn't that the same head sculpt you're now using on the Quantum figure?" And it's like, how do you, how do you get that? Because I have that that figure, and uh, I'm eligible for a replacement head. Oh, for the uh, for the eighty five, really? Yeah, you have yeah. the eighty five? Yeah, dude. Hold on. A I didn't know that. Oh shit! I didn't even know this. You see, he plays like fucking Secret Santa with me too. <laughs> fucking guy. Oh, Phil, I just what got this. In. I showed this off earlier. I got the Mandalorian in this week. Uh, oh wow! That's Hot awesome. toys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and little, little baby Yoda. It comes with not one, <laughs> but two floating Cretans. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, you know how like how awesome John Favreau is. He like puts in the ice cream maker, right? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, uh, yes, right. His blaster, that big like fork blaster. Uh yeah, the fo- fourth blaster. Fork, fork. Oh yeah, the fork one, the tuning fork. fork. Yeah. Yeah, you know that that fear uh, that appeared in the Christmas uh, special. Yeah, Star that was Boba Fett's original weapon. Right, that, and then that's Favreau putting that into canon. Yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. All right, sorry, go ahead, Baz. All right, Baz, whip oh. it out. 
<laughs> I didn't even know you got this. Damn, bro. Is the head sculpt that bad? Not really. Wait, wait, let me get it closer. I didn't even know you bought this. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, I had it on pre order. Right. Like wow. Two years. Yeah. So, like, it, it's not that bad. Like, it's, you know, but hey, if I can get a free head, free head is always good. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of it, man? Give us a quick review of it, man. I didn't even know you had this. You like it? It's excellent, man. It's great. It's I mean, it's an eye cast and shit. That's not a cheap one, man. That's a that's up nope. there. Um, he's yeah, got the no, gold no, and shit. The only thing is, this, like, is he supposed to have like a little uh, battle damage on him? Because some of the, there's some. Well, yeah, like, you can't be like you know fresh, you know, car out of the lot. There's yeah, some... that, that figure has like it's supposed to have small scuffs. Like a lot of people were like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. It has like these little nits, and they're like, no, that's part of the exactly like, the aesthetic okay. of the figure. Because I was looking, because I was like, yo, if I want to sell this, you know, you know, people are gonna go, is there is there anything wrong with it? And I'm gonna have to be like, well, there's the little scuffs here and there, and no, nah, that's all part of the paint job. That's part of it? okay, yeah, yeah. that's normal. No, nice people. man, didn't even know that shit. Very cool. Yeah, the battery and everything. He's at the gauntlet too. It looks good at night, man. It looks really good. So that's dope. But how long? How long is it? Like, uh, how long can you keep those batteries in there before it starts? Uh, you know, are those the original hot toy batteries? Yeah, pull them out immediately. Really, those batteries are all bad and they're known to leak and cause damage yeah. to the figure. You have to like. It's, I don't even take mine. Like, I took mine out for the review for the Mando for the ice cream yeah. maker comes with like uh, like lights and shit, and the batteries that come with it. I yeah. put the batteries in. I reviewed it. Took the batteries right out because these things turn into like poison, man. Jesus, oh, the, the ice cream maker battery. actually lights up. The, yeah, the ice cream maker has like a, uh, you know, like Jeez, I know it's like you know the light up gimmick, but see, like, like it opens here, and then like all these side panels open and shit, and then it has like I'm not gonna put the light on now. I took the batteries out already, but up on the top there's like a little switch under here, and then you can like light up the best car sitting in there. Oh shit! You know, cool. it's like little. Little ice cream Beskar in the middle. Yo, who's watching Invincible? Oh, it's great. I'm I'm one episode behind. Love that show. I'm one episode what show? behind. Sorry? I haven't seen it. Invincible. It's great. Oh my god, on Amazon Prime. You see that it's last really big battle, bro? Like, holy shit! I was like, my mouth was open the whole time. This, if this was last week's, no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it oh, like okay. this past week. Oh, but he gets his ass kicked every week. <laughs> he should be like, he, no, he almost. Well, never mind. Spoilers. I know you're a fucking. <laughs> uh, what do you what are you guys thinking so far of Falcon Winter Soldier if you're caught up? I stopped watching. No, oh, you're crazy. I think it's awesome. It's awesome. It, it, it's, 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 it it kills WandaVision. Yeah, I think it's amazing. I don't I like it a lot better than WandaVision and especially the last two episodes have been the fight scene between the three of them and Cap the new Captain America was out of this world. And then, you know, I had no idea about Walker. Baz was telling me, like I didn't know there was a second captain. In comic stories, yeah, that's a uh, U.S. agent. He took over for a while when Cap became Nomad, and um, then you know, I guess whatever, whatever the, the guy that plays Walker is is the son of Goldie Hawn and um, and Kurt Russell, right? It, you know, and he, I think he's doing a great job. A lot of people are hating him, and you're supposed to because he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, it's like he's doing his job. Yeah, and, I, uh, I have nothing against him. You know, the beef that when the three of them beef at the, the beginning of the last episode because it continues right from Baz, what did you when did you stop watching episodes ago? Like episode two. Oh, oh man, God. keep going, what? dude. It was a all it's a fucking show is awesome. I don't uh so what and you liked you, you liked what you call it too. It makes no sense. It's just like uh no, what's that movie you like with Captain America? Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. It's just yeah, like I know, that. I know, I've seen Winter Soldier. Man. <laughs> I'm just annoyed with fucking Disney, man. I'm, I'm, you know, if a company pisses you off enough, like, do you, are you really going to keep feeding the beast? Yeah, I hear well, you, man. Well, just, we all love Mando. We watch Mandalorian. Yeah, I do. I'm not. I am not returning to Mando after that Gina Carano shit. So, I'm oh, then for, dude, I got news for you, man. If that's going to be your take on everything, then we're going to have to wait for Zade Comics to come out with Magic Cop the movie at this point. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, yes, <laughs> yeah, my brother. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll be first in line. I'll be first person to buy a ticket to that to that movie. But 
you know, this is like just what they're doing now, man. It's just fucking, it's head shaking. And it's like, all right, eventually I'm not, I'm going to have to just watch old movies. Like I watched Easy Money the other night again. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's no problem. There's a lot of stuff to watch. This past week, Laura and I were looking for stuff to watch. We watched What About Bob on Saturday and Easy Money two nights ago. <laughs> Who saw the uh, Shang-Chi trailer? Yes, what, what'd you think? Cool. Yeah, right. See, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, like I'm I'm glad they're going in a different direction now. It's 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 more like, you know, it's a different art form now. We're seeing like true not this New York smashing up buildings. We're seeing like kind of history like with I don't know if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you know, I know. I, I don't uh, I don't necessarily um I just feel as though I've seen this movie already. Yeah, like, I feel like I've seen it. Right. You know? It's it's gonna be like Mortal Kombat or I don't know. I think Mortal yeah, I, Kombat I, I, that's another thing. I can't wait for tomorrow. No, but don't get me wrong, like I'm stoked for Mortal Kombat, but yeah, it's just yeah. I've, well, I've that's seen... the thing, right? Like Mortal Kombat has the supernatural aspect to it. Shang Chi didn't really look like it had that stuff going on. Like it didn't have something that got me super excited. It's like, wow, I gotta go see this movie. You know, it's like, oh, it's kind of I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, know. I, I don't, I, bust, this. I, don't know, I don't like Shang Chi as a character. Really? What? You've never seen a bus chase scene before. No, I, I yeah right. Uh, I just I don't like I've never liked Shang Chi the character, so I don't really care enough about the character in general. And if we're talking like in terms of like seeing like an Asian casted movie, like I would rather them make an like the Adam with like the uh, the 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 Asian version of the Adam from DC. Like I'd be, probably be more into that because I'm an Adam fan. You know, it's a, this is more of a case of whether or not I'm a fan of the character or not. You know, but then again, I really wasn't that big of a Doctor Strange fan, and I thought that movie was ab- out of this world and fantastic. Yeah. And then I became the biggest Doctor Strange fan after that movie. So maybe I'll see this and be like, "Up, oh, Shang Chi's awesome." You know, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be cool, but like, you know, they're not reinventing the wheel. They're just, you know, they're just trying to copy Chinese, you know, martial arts cinema. I mean, there's right. there's tons of movies on on uh, Netflix that you can watch that are way better yeah. than than this is right. probably gonna be. You know what I mean? So. Definitely. It's just like Marvel and Disney, whenever they come out with a movie, they act like they've reinvented the fucking wheel. I'll tell yeah. you what, though, concerning right. Marvel and Disney with this, every time I want to hate on something, I always wind up enjoying their movies, except for yeah. Harold Danvers, <laughs> except for Miss <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> I didn't give a shit about the Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't give a shit about Ant Man, really. I didn't give a shit about Doctor Strange. And then I saw them and I was like, wow, these are amazing movies. <laughs> like, yeah. these are really good stuff. So, uh, you know, I'll watch it, you know. Guardians um, is probably my favorite Marvel movie of all, like DC the Marvel. One. Yeah, the yeah, first, the first one. one. Uh, I think that than Avengers, I love it more than Endgame. Still, I don't, I love it. What the uh, Guardians? Like that much? Yeah, Guardians one. Yeah, Guardians one because it's a fun movie and it has like, probably one of the best soundtracks like in any movie. You want to talk about how important the soundtrack yeah, is to a movie? Yo, the yeah. soundtrack is so much to a movie. Oh yeah, it is. Like, you totally. think, oh, it's just music and sounds. Like, no, it. It makes it's like half of the movie almost. Dude, yeah. Star Wars without John Williams, man, it's, it's Star Wars is not it's Buck it's Rogers <laughs> again. You know, like the uh, even the what you call it, like uh, uh, look at the the Justice League movie with Junkie XL versus Danny Elfman, and I actually like Danny Elfman, but in that yeah. world, it was stupid. It was like it didn't match like what I was seeing, so it was kind of like what the like what the fuck is this, you know? Or it's like Nando now, like how iconic is. Oh yeah, the westerny type, uh, Star yeah. Wars westerny uh, sound and shit. Yeah, yeah, and so. apparently that's like a big giant uh, recorder that that the uh, the uh, what do you call the artist that the composer? Mm-hmm. It was like this giant ass recorder that looked like a friggin' you know uh, saxophone or whatever. Order. So there you go. Anytime your teachers, anytime your parents shit on you for bringing your kid brings home a recorder, all the parents that are shitting on the teachers, they're like, "Hey, you can grow up and make the soundtrack to Mando in yeah. twenty years." So play your fucking recorder, kids. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Kyle? Kyle's with us. Trev. Trev says more combat looks damn good. Did you guys see the seven minute clip? It got me hyped. No, I'm already hyped for it. No, I don't see anything. That's I won't a watch spoiler it. to me. No, I'm. I'm, I'm not yeah. watching that. I need to watch the movie. I'm not going to watch something and then rewatch it again when the movie right, comes right. out. I'm, I'm not going to watch the first seven minutes of a movie in a trailer. I'm just going to wait for the movie. Yeah. 
Especially when it's it's tomorrow. Go wait till tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, a uh, little man's getting home from school and we're going to watch it. And I'm going to let him. Uh, hopefully there's no nudity in this thing. Because I said, look, the blood and the guts and all that, I don't give a shit about. It's more like, you know, nudity when it comes to like <laughs> policing my children. Murder. My doctor put nudity Murder, death, kill is fine. Yeah. yeah well, look at the games they play, these kids. It's ridiculous, you know. What? When it's TNA, you're out. Yeah, nah, nah, no good. You know, a little bit, but half butt shot, side boobs, fine, you know. But check um, out that side boob. I don't think there's gonna be in this man. Nah, nah, I, don't, I think I think it should be fine too. I doubt it. But uh yeah, Warner so we'll be, we'll be talking about that 80s, next week. Bro. <laughs> Unfortunately. What? He goes, I'll have that kind of patience. Yeah, well, well, that was another thing too. Exactly. Yeah, the eighties, everything was just freewheeling and dealing. Next week, we're probably going to talk mostly about the Mortal Kombat movie. And one thing I don't want to do is go, uh, spoilers, uh, spoilers every five seconds. We might just say, right in the title or in like the picture, like we're going to talk about Mortal Kombat, and there will be spoilers. So just you know, fucking go watch the movie. Uh, Toy Time Machine still listening? Is he still? You know, it would be awesome if he was sitting up there and you know. And I just picture Canada always snowing. I know it, it doesn't, but like, and he's sitting outside in the car, always. and the snow just piled up on the windshield, so the wife doesn't recognize that he's just sitting outside listening <laughs> to the channel. And he's just snowing himself in. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is he saw it this morning. No boobies. Sort this morning. Shit, he's been yeah. sitting in the car since this morning. He's watching it on his phone. <laughs> he's now he's listening to us. Yeah, we got like two centimeters this morning. It was gone in like an hour when the sound came out. That's cool. Yeah, now we had a lot of snow up north, like up north here, which is like down south for you. Go fucking everything south to you. It's like Santa Claus and then you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just eight hours away from me. Pretty much. No, no, I know, I know. It's not like you guys are up in like Greenland and shit. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Living in our igloos, you know. Yeah, exactly. I have a buddy up in Canada that used to is a a, a semi small time rapper up there, and I know that like uh, his name was Mister Burns. And I know up in Canada they have these rules where you have to like play your own artists a certain percentage of the time while playing also international artists or some shit. So he was getting airplay on all the radio stations. He had like a video in rotation up on one of your TV stations up there, but like the more popular stations, not just like cable access. And uh, he was like, uh, you know, yeah, man. He's like, it. Um, what the way year it was this been? Uh, about 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago. Okay. You know, it's pretty good. I mean, you catch all this shit online on uh, fucking, you know, you see me rapping on YouTube. You just type in Mr. Burns or he's in the band too and shit. He was in our group for a little while. But uh, he, he's seen it already too. Everyone's seen this fucking movie. You probably know why. I think he was it was released <laughs> in Australia or something. Yeah, it released, yeah, somewhere early. That's so stupid. Just one international release date, and that's it. So I guess thumbs up so far for I, Toy Time Machine, Toy Mafia, Toy Guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. You know what? Don't even tell me. I want to watch it. Just enjoy it. My favorite character is not even <laughs> in the movie, though. I got to deal with Johnny Cage not being in the movie. But, um, you know, whatever. Yeah, apparently, uh, this, the, the, this new guy, what's his name? Um, Cole Young. Uh, yes, he's uh, like an, he's a, he's an uh, he's a child of some ancestry of the Mortal Kombat world or whatever. Okay. So he's not like he's not some random dude. He does have like a storyline. That's cool. He'll probably be a downloadable character in like the next video game or some shit. And and I believe this guy oh, is yeah. he's oh. taking over Johnny Cage oh. because like you've seen him in the trailer. He's fighting in an octagon and stuff. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, but no, they said that Johnny Cage might be in the next movie. So oh, okay. They're not nice. you know, getting rid of the character. Liu Kang's in it, though. That's yeah, Liu Kang's in it. Kung Lao, and that's weird because he's a he's a Mortal Kombat two guy. You know that was sweet with the Liu Kang effect. Speaking about effects, you know, it looked really real in a martial like our Marvel universe with their kung fu, whatever magic isn't going to be cool compared to Mortal Kombat. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. Right it's like uh, we already got Liu Kang. Why do we need Shang Chi, man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't know man more like I'm, I'm glad like, look more power to the people who made it i don't want to like just be shitting all over but at this point they have the fantastic four and the x-men back let's get going bro you know what i'm saying like yeah like the fucking x-men have you you know like i don't i don't even like bringing this up on the channel but the x-men have built-in diversity it checks all the fucking boxes let's just go you know yeah, give us storm women characters you want female heroes exactly rogues fucking awesome you got like there's no it has everything <laughs> you know it's there 
You know, the only thing is that they're gonna call it X people, though. Oh wow. God! I, I, oh, the mutants. They're gonna call them the mutants. Well, like it's think not- about it. Like women. There's men at the end of that. At that, the end of women. Men, exactly. men, X men. Don't remind them. Don't, hate that. don't remind them, please. Yeah, I know. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. Both call uh, themselves whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, hey, right. you fuckers, you better give me back Donnie at 9.30. Now we're kidnapping him. Speaking of which, though, I do have to fucking sign off because I got to get ready for work, put the kids to bed, get my coffee, and I got an apple pie. No, I got a cheesecake, a slice of New York cheesecake waiting for me upstairs. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, Kill it, um, brother. He, D- digging into that shit, but um, again, it was always fucking nice to uh, uh, talk to you guys. Not so much uh, uh, Baz or Donnie, but you, Phil, was nice to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, we're degenerates. So, uh, yeah, so whatever, man. Later, guys. Everyone in the chat, thanks for watching. And it's funny, we had like not that many people. Now everything just kind of crept up. We're up to fifteen now, and it's like, uh, look, man, <laughs> I, I got to like. It, it, this has been the fucking story. You know, we tried back in the day of going live at ten o'clock. Me and Baz had started, and then it was like, all right, we're gonna go live at like nine o'clock, and then it became eight o'clock, then it became seven o'clock, and like people just show up at the end, right, of the fucking video. We were doing it at ten o'clock. People were showing up at like ten to eleven. It was like, <laughs> guys, guys. Come on, man. But anyways, uh, go check out the Mando video that I did, the review on. Just give it a like or a view. It would be nice. I, the fucking Shazam statue from Tweeterhead is really dynamite. I'm trying to do something new yeah. with the videos. I'm using like 60 frames per second frame rate. Let me know what you guys think of that shit. If the clarity is better or some bullshit, I don't know. I'm just trying to do like a new format. So dry, drop a comment or just say we're not into that shit whatever that's what what's his face did he actually comment and said i don't really like this very much but uh good review <laughs> i'll say okay i'll take that <laughs> yeah i'll just fuck it i'll take what i can get and go check out there's like five days left i'm sure it's gonna go into demand for magic cop i can't say this enough even though i like it if you're not interested in magic cop type stuff check out the lost pages it's really nice i like comic anthology stuff think of like Tales from the Crypt or Tales from the Dark Side, but non-horror, where there's like those little th- little stories, little stories, little stories kind of. It's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to have like quick little hitters bring you into the universe and shit. The big, thick books. And it's nice and it's good to support fucking people that are trying to get their, their shit off the ground. And it, it's actually good. It's not just, hey, you buy this and it's really not that good. No, it's it's good. And uh, Donnie, what do Thanks, you got? Man. Oh, nice articulated Spider-Man. Wolverine on beast shoulders. Uh, the 2010 Toy Biz little three inches. I got a little chicken fight. Who do, who do you think is going to win? Spidey Wolverine. thing, Wolverine beast. I'm taking Spidey and thing. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Wolverine what can't touch you, him. What about you? Um, I got to pick Wolverine and beast. Yeah, I think, All right. I think I'm going to go with uh, Spidey yeah. thing. All right. Here, go, uh, put the camera to me. All right. Ready? One. I'm going to shake the table. Ready? <laughs> I think the, the camera is the one that loses. loses. <laughs> Hold on, I there lost everything. The camera oh, broke. <laughs> All hey, right. Hang on, hang on. Hold on, it's a draw. God damn it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck this <laughs> He's like, sorry, guys. I got to spend now. I got to sell half my hot dogs. Oh, 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 yeah. What's he up? had loose ankles. He had loose ankles. Bullshit. <laughs> I would have oh, just man. flipped the table. <laughs> Wait, uh, who said X Men? Uh, who said Beast and uh, Wolverine? Uh, Zayn and me. I did. Okay. Yeah. Winners. Yes. Yeah, but thanks for having me on, guys. It was a fun time. I'm glad I was able to get back on, show you guys my new statue. Yeah, it's no, fun. the statue's fucking awesome, man. I'm telling you. Uh, guys, go check out. What's your page? It's just Zade Comics on YouTube, right? If you guys want to see the review yeah, of the XM Comics. Lobo, uh, yeah, go to Zade Comics YouTube. Give them a subscribe or a like or a comment and shit. And you can see that Lobo video. It's really dope, man. Even if you're not into like stat, like I'm yeah. not really much of a statue guy, but that just looks fucking awesome, you know? Yeah, no, it's awesome. Definitely check that out. And we'll see you guys here next week. Moral Combat spoilers and probably some more bullshit from Mezco and Hot Toys as usual. Oh. Um, guys, thanks for having me. Love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Your shit's top notch. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, take yeah, care, bro. everybody, and we'll see you soon.